and brown. And one of the ideas behind creating pieces that got people looking at color came from my days, back in the olden days, when I worked at Garfield Park Conservatory. Woo-woo. People used to come into the conservatory and they would say, it's so green here. Where are the flowers? It's all green everywhere. And it was just like, it's, but you know, you don't have to have flowers. The green can be very interesting and beautiful too. And how do you get people to notice that green is interesting and green is more than just green? And so this idea of trying to draw people's attention to different colors, many of us, and I don't know any of you, but um, many of us who live in the city, our eyes are really good at picking up visual cues that we need to cross a busy street, for example. But we can't necessarily read the landscape the way many people who depend on nature to live know how to read the, read the landscape. What does it mean when the leaves look a certain way or the birds are doing something? And um, So part of this is a way of trying to put, um, kind of give voice to the landscape. That's what this work is about.